how about it? I mean, everybody's going to look at, you know, six nothing, whatever. We, we pitched and really played defense today. It was outstanding. Um, that's all I could really focus on. And that's, I'll take it. If we do that, if we pitch and play defense the rest of the year, I don't, the run differential is going to be just fine. I mean, it was, uh, it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch us play defense today. The whole infield uh, pretty much got involved. Uh, Albert, the, the two catches he made, including the one to end the game, um, the throw by uh, Contreras was spectacular. That's, that's what you want to see on a nightly basis, that kind of baseball. Yeah. Yep. Yes. It's all in there. I mean, we've already got. Uh, is Riz ever won one? He should. Uh, Hayward's done it, right? Yeah. There's there's a, an entire group, and that's. I mean, everybody gets hung up on hitting all the time, and it's it's wonderful, and you got to score runs. I get it, but on a nightly basis, if you could pitch and play defense every night, you have a chance pretty much to win every night. So uh, that was not lost on me. I was really impressed with the way we came out after a break. Uh, looked energized and really played de uh, some defense. And don't forget Kyle. <laughs> Kyle's one of the best pitchers in the National League right now. Nobody's talking about it. Um, his ability to command his fastball, which permits the other pitchers to play off that. Uh, the the contact is not very uh, hard against him. Spectacular uh, off a break. I you know I couldn't have envisioned a better start uh, regarding um, the way we played. I was pretty impressed with. It, of course it did. Um, it did. When, you, when you're tired, you're going to make mistakes. Uh, the fatigue makes cowards out of all of us line from Lombardi. Never quite understood what that meant when I first heard it, but it's true. If you think about it in your own life, man, when you're a little bit fatigued, the decision-making is not nearly as good. Even the courage to attempt to do things is not as strong. Uh, fatigue is really a nasty uh, um, opponent. So when you get into that situation, man, it makes a difference. You do need rest. You do need to take care of yourself. So hopefully that's a harbinger right there. That's, that's what we're supposed to look like. And um, I, was, I really enjoyed it from the dugout. If you were to change something, would you say a quote-unquote fifth starter is one of the best pitchers in the league? Right? He is. I mean, I, I, I'll argue that with anybody. Um, his ERA is third or fourth in the league right now. Uh, you watch the way the ball's hit against him. But break down his numbers uh, per, in counts. And what he's able to do in counts, um, feels his position wonderfully. Uh, actually, he's a good offensive player. I mean, a great bunt. Uh, he's he's playing a complete game of baseball. I think because he doesn't throw 95, it's easy to overlook this fella. But I promise you, hitters don't really dig going up there right now, right or left-handed. Especially uh, first down fielder gets out in front of that seven or six mile curve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and then he did hit him on that one, on, right, but he does. He's, he does a nice job back and forth. He's pretty much back and forth, uh, but he's elevating more. He's throwing more four-seamers elevated that have been really, I think, really have uh, It's added another dimension to his game and is also from the other side what they have to contend with. Uh, that's him, Boz, Boers, the, the Lester. They're all uh, They're doing a really good job of prep. Yeah, well, that was a tough, that was a National League moment right there, man. That's an absolute National League moment. Because I, I have a lot of respect for Texas. Now, if you don't do that and end up, you know, taking Kyle out with no outs in the next inning, which is possible, then you're really upset with yourself, obviously. You want to go ahead. I mean, and, of course, if uh, Baez or Elmore had driven in even one of those runs, I was going to let Kyle hit in that particular moment. So it's a National League, it's a National League situation. Um it looked like the right thing to do because he got a hit, obviously. But it's a tough one. It's it's like right in that – it's a tweener moment in the sixth inning like that. Uh, we were set up for it. And then, of course, C.J. was brilliant coming out of the bullpen. But that is a classic National League moment. <clears throat> wow. He was really good. I mean, from, from the dugout, the hitter's reaction, you could see the, the, uh, the life on the, on the pitch at the end. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. This kid, uh, we we need to treat him properly. Uh, can't abuse him at all. We got to break him in, right? I Meaning, it's just you just cannot overuse a young fellow like this. If we if we treat this well, he'll be really good at the end of the season, also, and that's that's important. When has Hendricks' consistency been through a single prowess, which is the last three weeks where some of the other starters show 
Yeah, it's uh, it's been very important for us, uh, what he's doing and what he's done. Um, he's been kind of like a tone setter, man. He's it's it's not unlike what Jake had done last year. You know, he's just really he's been he's been that good, just doing it in a different way. He's again he's not this overpowering guy, but he's getting his punch outs. He's not walking people. He's getting weak contact, and he's pitching innings. I mean, he's done a, he's done a great job. Kyle, well, I'll tell you what happened. Um, a couple, three starts ago, we were in Cincinnati. We were short. We were short some pitchers. We, our bullpen was kind of depleted, and it was hot. It was a day game hot, and uh, it, I, I let him out there for 117 pitches, and that's very unusual with him. But I thought that would really, really stretch him mentally, and it did. Um, he's been, even before that, he had been pitching well, but that one particular moment that he could – Prove to himself that I, he can do that because I asked him on his on his workout day after that how do you feel because I was really concerned he don't normally doesn't throw that many pitches he said he felt great and uh, truly did I mean next time I was five and a third and 100 pitches which back but he still threw the ball well um, so I think that one moment there when you get a guy that all of a sudden really gets stretched uh, physically and mentally it can really turn his his uh, his entire self-image around.